about to hit the block, I play the point like Kyrie Irving. He say he pop in person, let the world go, it was swerving. I ain't never mean to hurt you. you gave my heart. What is good, YouTube? What is groovy? It's your boy Easy B, and we back with another Lionheart movie. Let's run it up, dog. So, peep game. Today, it's gonna be a different type of video for us. It's a reaction video, but it's a reaction video to a little side hustle that most of us are familiar with, which is buying and reselling sneakers. We all about making money, especially during the pandemic. Y'all like these type of videos, you know, different side hustles and different ways to make money to let me know because I know 2020 has been crazy. I know this pandemic is crazy. And from what I'm hearing, I think there might be a second wave and we might shut down again. So these small side hustles that you can do from home might be make or break for a lot of people financially so if y'all like this video man like this video i appreciate all the love and support help me get to 200 subscribers i'm gonna stop all the talking we're gonna get right into this video what if i told you that those graphs and these prices down here are not referring to the stock market but instead sneaker prices <sighs> Well, I mean, you probably wouldn't be that surprised given the title of this video, but still, the point I'm trying to make here is that the sneaker market is no joke at all. It's projected to become a $6 billion market by 2025. We're not talking milli, we're talking billion. There are people making hundreds of thousands of dollars reselling sneakers. You can make 50 grand in a weekend, man. Even millions. And 20 million in sales. And some of these moguls are still in middle school. Yes, sir. We copy Hey, for real though, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know, I do watch a lot of, uh, you know, sneaker resale videos, and it's crazy to see how big of a market it is for, you know, sneakers, but I mean, you know, it's always been like that, you know, y'all see little kids right here, you feel me, getting money from this stuff, so it's no excuse, you know. Let's go out there so and grind, bro. It's just crazy. It you fascinates me. me. So in this video, I figured it'd be interesting to document myself diving into this business and trying out this form of making money as a complete beginner with zero prior experience. When I say zero experience, I really mean it. The extent of my shoe game knowledge is I might watch a complex sneaker shopping with episode here and there. Don't ever play yourself. That's what he's called. But that's about it. I couldn't tell you the difference between the types of Jordans out there. I don't know what sells for what price. My personal shoe game, kind of weak. I really don't drip too hard. It just consists of me buying the same pair of shoes for like the last two or three years. But from the little research I've done in preparation for this video, I can tell you that there are different forms of sneaker reselling. A very common one is buying shoes for retail prices, either online or physically waiting in line for a release, and then immediately listing that shoe on eBay. There's an app called Goat, as well as one called StockX, and you sell the shoes you buy on those apps and platforms and although this form of sneaker reselling is very popular i'm not going to be getting into it in this video just because that takes timing and experience i, I don't know when the next hype shoe is going to drop or what pair is going to be worth more on the resale market instead i'm going to go with a different kind of sneaker reselling a type that can basically be done by anyone at any time obviously having experience would help but i think this next kind of sneaker reselling i could manage as a complete beginner and this involves retail arbitrage which means you buy shoes in retail stores not like hypey stores but ones such as Marshalls and outlet stores and then sell them for more online now I previously thought that in order to do this you kind of still have to have some experience to know what sells and then you have to list things on eBay you have to wait for someone to buy the shoe it might take months for the shoe to sell then you have to figure out how to ship it and how much to pay for shipping but that does not have to be the case all thanks to a company called StockX that in recent years just completely took over the sneaker reselling market I'm not affiliated with them in any shape or form but here's how the app slash platform works it's basically like hey yo let me know if y'all hype beasts bro you feel me are y'all just casual you feel me dressers or casual sneaker heads are y'all hype beasts man world's first so i feel market. like it's a lot of hype beasts out here live bid ask marketplace buyers place bids sellers place asks and when a bid and an ask meet the transaction happens automatically but let me put you onto a strategy here that kind of blew my mind it's really genius what you can do is go to stores such as marshall's that sells clothes and shoes that are just i guess overstocked in other stores so they sell them there for a discount well i can go to marshall's or an outlet potentially find this shoe in store a size 10 for a hundred dollars and before i even buy it i can go on the sap see if someone wants it for more as you can see someone placed a bid for 235 i'd press 235 i can see that after the fees i would get 205 so i would proceed and sell this shoe for 205 dollars and only then go ahead check out at the store pay the 100 ship it to a stock x authentication center and there you go you paid 100 for the shoe 
and sold it for 205 before you even left the retail store. And the person who placed this bid will get their card automatically charged. Since to place a bid, that person has to put in their card information beforehand. I mean, sure, you could probably get more for the shoe on eBay or if you list it on GOAT, but this right here eliminates all of the risk involved since, again, you have a buyer lined up before you even pay for the shoe. The only kind of caveat here is that the shoes have to be in a brand new box, undamaged, so thrift shops won't really work for this. Ross won't either since they don't usually give you the box, but there's plenty of other places you can hunt for the shoes. Boxes are important with sneaker resales, especially if they OG. This video. I will be putting this to the ultimate test and see if I can make money with this as an absolute complete beginner. Can you actually find shoes at these retail stores that would sell on here or is it too good to be true? I guess only one way to find out so let's head over to the first store. Right now, I just kind of want to get like a feel for the strategy. I want to check if there's actually any shoes inside of Marshalls that people are willing to pay for on the app. Store number one, here we go. So once I got inside, I basically just started looking up every brand name shoe there on StockX, and to my surprise, a lot of them were popping up on the app with bids on them. However, it was mostly under the Marshalls price or just about break even. I did find these kids Adidas right off the bat. They were selling for $20, and there was a bid on StockX for this exact size that I'd make like $10 off even after fees and taxes, but unfortunately, the box was ripped up, so that would have passed. I heard that they're really picky about that. I also found some 2017 Hyper Dunks selling for $40, there were bids for them sitting at $80 on StockX, but unfortunately the sizes at the store were like above 13, 14, and there weren't any bids for those sizes. I continued looking and eventually stumbled upon these Nikes that were $59.99 with tax, they cost me $64. Someone had a bid up for $78 on them, and after the fees, I immediately sold them for $68.25, so we had some profit at the very first store. Bro, y'all see how first easy that was, bro? To, like seriously, y'all see how easy that was? You feel me? All it took was, bro, to go to a store, look on the app, see how much a shoe is, you know, being offered for, and just matching up that shoe and selling it right out of there. You feel me? And making so profit instantly. So I got these That's crazy. Nike Air Zoom Mariah Fly Me Bracers. They cost me $64.64 and 64 cents after all the fees. Yeah, and a crazy profit, $60 but... Cents. It's only like four bucks. I gotta admit, I mainly just got these as a kind of backup in case we don't find any other deals so that I at least have one pair of shoes that I can test this StockX app with. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the second Marshalls location. Second store, I found some Jordans that were $50, but after all the StockX fees, it wouldn't be a profitable sell. So I kept looking and stumbled on these Adidas. Checked StockX right off the bat. I could see that the last sale for these happened at $100, which was a great sign. I checked the bids. There was one for $75 on a size 11. I I was holding a size 11, I sold, got 65, 63, and then went ahead and purchased them for 53.86 at Marshalls. Okay, you gotta be kidding me, where was this when I was working minimum wages? I would be all over this. We're on our second store and we got our second pair. I gotta say, this is low-key kind of a good time, but unfortunately I don't have any more time to go to another Marshalls today. So today's Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. Monday we should be back. I wanna go to another Marshalls on Monday, maybe even two, and then go to some Adidas and Nike outlets. I heard if you check the clearance section there, you might be able to find something. It's gonna be it for now. I'll see you guys, I think, on Monday. Good morning. It's currently the Tuesday of next week. I really wanted to go out on Monday, which was yesterday, and hunt for some shoes, but unfortunately I couldn't. And I started off today, I was... Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. When it comes to side hustles, especially like, you know, sneaker resale, don't expect, you feel me, just instant success with the stuff, bro. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. In our generation, we get, you feel me, too caught up in that instant gratification stuff, you feel me? And that really blocks a lot of our blessings, and that really hinders a lot of us from actually being successful with things that we do. Because, you know, when we do something, we start off something, we expect to be on level 10, and we haven't even, you know, started at level 1 yet. You feel me? So... If y'all do try this, if y'all do try this, you feel me? This is for those who, you know, might want to, you know, give it a chance, man. Don't beat yourself up if you're not making profit, you know, straight off the bat. You feel me? You got to give it time. You got to let it accumulate. You feel me? Just saying. You feel me? Just saying. I got some emails from StockX that were basically saying, yo, you got to quit playing. Send us our shoes. 
or we're gonna give you a penalty, you're about to cross your deadline, so that's what I just did. To ship out the shoes I got on Saturday, I headed over to Home Depot Tuesday morning, bought some extra small boxes that were 83 cents a box, came home, put the shoe box in the Home Depot box, realized I needed to put in some bubble wrap or packaging paper, so I went over to Staples, got some packaging paper, put the shoe in the box once again, also put in a special paper that StockX sends you, this time added wrapping paper, taped it up, slapped the shipping label that I got in my email, did that for the other pair and I was done. All I had to do was then drop it off at a USPS office. But anyways, that's all good now. So we are on our way to an Adidas and Nike outlet. We're gonna check the clearance section. I bought five boxes at Home Depot this morning. So hopefully we can fill up all five boxes. We already got two down, we just need three more. Walking up to the Nike store, I was greeted with some very unfortunate news at the door. So I really should have checked on this ahead of time, but I guess due to all this Modelo bug talk, and all Nike stores are closed, I'm gonna check on Adidas, hopefully that's open. If not, I guess we'll just have to go to Marshalls. Went over to the Adidas outlet, same exact thing there. I was really looking forward to checking out those clearance sections in the outlet stores because I've seen, I've watched YouTube videos on this and that's where a lot of people find really good deals. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to call a few Marshalls in the area, hopefully those are open. Yeah, they are open. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. With this good news in mind, I headed over to a new Marshalls. This one was in a pretty bougie area, which was a good sign. And I started hunting for some sneakers. Found these right here that sold on eBay for around $80 in the last month, but there weren't any bids on them on StockX, so I skipped on them and found these Superstar Adidas, which were a major score. I sold them for $64.75, only cost me $29.99 before tax. So this was like a $30 That's come tough. up, but I didn't stop there. I was ready to head out when I saw the women's athletic shoe section. Figured I might as well see if there's anything there. Sure enough, found these Adidas Falcons for $24.99. Some of the colorways on these were going for over $100 on StockX. The ones I found though, there was a bid for $50, $43 after the fees, but I mean, I can't complain about an extra instant $16 profit on my way out. So at this point, I had one Home Depot box left that I wanted to fill up, so I went to yet another Marshalls. This store was pretty dry, but I thought I had a major come up with these Nikes. I checked StockX and they were selling for like $200. They were only costing 50 at Marshalls, but they were the wrong model. The actual ones at Marshalls were selling for like 20 on StockX. I got clickbaited so hard with those neon Nikes. I checked on StockX and they appeared to be worth 200, but it was the wrong model. They looked the exact same, but it wasn't the same shoe. I still have one more box that I need to fill up. I really want to hit that five pairs of shoes mark. There's a Marshalls on the way to the stew. I already went to that one on Saturday but it's already Tuesday so maybe they updated their selection so I'm gonna go ahead and stop by there maybe we can find something this store didn't have much either mostly the same stuff as Saturday so I headed back to the stew packaged the two pairs that we did get went back to the USPS office to drop them off and we are back now before we break down the profits here for all of the flipping we did in this video I want to go over just a few things First of all, this is a great side hustle and a perfect gateway into the whole sneaker world. But I say side hustle and not business because, I mean, there's, there's only so many outlet and discount stores in your area, so you're not really guaranteed to sustainably find pairs of shoes you can flip. I don't. Hey, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. I want to, uh, you know, touch on that real quick as far as, like, you know, not having a lot of outlet stores and stuff in your area. Hey, yo, peep this. A lot of the time... You know, a lot of the big, you know, sneaker resellers, they usually go to, you know, sneaker stores in the area. So if you got a sneaker snort. What? Got a sneaker snort. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Got a sneaker snort. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Oh my goodness, if you got a sneaker store in your area, let's say like in the Atlanta area, you know, I don't know about all of Georgia, I just know it's a lot of uh, good sneaker stores in the Atlanta area. California is pretty good, but Atlanta is good as well. New York usually have a, a couple of good um, sneaker shops, shops as well. So, I mean, you feel me? If you want to be real with y'all, if y'all can take a vacation, you know, uh, somewhere, if y'all do go and experience, you know, a little bit more life, Y'all tap into one of those shoe stores, man. Y'all be surprised at the good deals y'all can get. Try bargaining, all of that. You feel me? If somebody's selling a shoe for 120, but you feel like you can get it, you know, for 80, hey, shoot them at 80. You feel me? That's a $40 difference, but they might be willing to budge on that 120 price. You feel me? And then that would increase your margin if you are going to resale. So, hey, man, there's so many different things you can do as far as like sneak sneaker resales, and it's a lot of things you need to know as far as like if there isn't a lot of you know outlet stores. Uh, or sneaker stores in your area there's other ways to do it you can also do you know buying reselling off of uh facebook marketplace trying to you know 
use a toothbrush and you know whatever type of cleaner you need to you know whiten them up or you know clean them up a little bit and then try eBay it. You feel me? It's, it's so many different ways you can make money, man. You feel me? So many different ways, bro. It'd also be cool if I could have gotten the chance to check out some of the outlet stores since I've seen a lot of people on YouTube get some insane deals there. But back on topic though, the simplicity and low risk level of this side hustle is amazing. Anyone can do it and make a decent side income. The strategy I used is a great way to start, but eventually it would make sense to start listing some of the pairs you find on these different apps and maybe even on eBay, not just selling shoes that are already have bids on them on StockX. Since throughout my hunting here, I spotted quite a few pairs that were selling pretty well and for a higher price on eBay, there were no bids on them within the StockX app. So this strategy is a great way to start, build up some experience, and then maybe get into some more lucrative forms of sneaker reselling. Or, I mean, just stick to this concrete strategy and make some extra coffee money here and there. But also, the last thing I want to mention is coupons, which are like steroids for this hustle. The people who actually do this pretty seriously will find coupons for these different stores, and when they find a profitable deal, let's say in a Nike outlet store, they can apply that coupon to their purchase, and if it's like a 30% off coupon, well, their profit increases by 30%. Hey, that's so free game right there. This sneaker reselling game can definitely make you some money. With other side hustles and businesses I tested out on this channel, like trading Forex or day trading Bitcoin, I'd be incredibly wary to actually recommend anyone for taking those hustles because they're very risky and you can lose money on them. But with this strategy, you don't buy the shoes before selling them, so there's really not much risk at all. If you'd like a side hustle that can make you a little extra money, this can definitely be the move and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it. But now let's go ahead and break down the profits for the flipping we did in this video. I bought the first Nike pair for 64 is 64, sold it for 68.25, which came out to $3.61 profit. Second pair though, I bought for 53.86 and sold it for 65.63 for a respectable profit of $11.77. Third solid. flip was the major one. I bought the pair for 32.12 and sold it for 64.75, so we secured a solid $32.06 profit on that. That's the last the pair was the woman's Falcon shoes, caught for 27.12 and sold them for 43.50 making it our second best flip at 1638 profit until I actually sent it out and StockX didn't accept them because the box was actually from a different colorway. I kept the receipt for them though and I didn't get charged any fees so that's not really an issue. But then we got the boxes for shipping which were 83 cents each so four boxes that's 338 after tax. Packaging paper actually cost me eight dollars and ten cents but I barely even used half of it so we'll, we'll say I used four dollars worth of it. After taking all of this into account we are left with a final profit of forty dollars and six cents would have been closer to 55 but again that last pair did not get accepted however as a first venture into the sneaker game i, I don't think that's too bad that's like a month of coffee money well, well if you make it at home i guess though but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i did creating it and partaking in the side hustle hope you guys have a great rest of your day so it looks like that's the end of the video hey let me know what y'all think about that side hustle man let me know if that's something that y'all be looking into doing you feel me hey like i said this pandemic is a little you feel me uncertain so if y'all looking for little side hustles or whatnot you feel me little things that you know y'all can do on the side that can help that income during this time hey man tap into this channel subscribe to this channel because we're gonna have more and more videos just like this if you know somebody that likes money or if you know somebody that is into money making opportunities, man, make sure y'all share this channel with them. You know, help them out. Help me out as well. 200 subscribers, man, on the way. I appreciate all the love and support. I'll leave the link to the original video down below. Shout out to Beheza for this video. But with that being said, man, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed. Mwah.